Let's see what happens. I'm going to fix a phone today, and it's going to go great because I'm going to use these tweezers, and they are going to make me noble, superb, show the style of master. I don't have to be a master. I just have to show the style of master. So that's what I'm going to do here today with Brad's phone. I'm trying out the new, the new YouTube changed up its dashboard, so I'm not 100% sure that is going to work. So I am going to see whether or not I have to hook this stream up differently now. I don't know. So let's find out. So it says streaming, and let's go, let's go check a few places. So I see connect streaming software, which doesn't quite make sense. Let's go over here and check if we can see what's going on so that I can show the style of master to you today. Let's see what happens if we go back to regular streaming. Live stream now. Okay, it looks like it's working in regular, but not in this new one, which is weird. New one, fail. Hi, iPad Rehab in chat. Hello, let's pop out chat. All right, it looks like we'll just assume this is working in the standard way. All right, we're going to fix Brad's phone today, and this is in our series of Apple lied to me, get a second opinion. So we're gonna start with a note. This is another one and, and this is boring. We've, we've done a bunch of cases like this. This is another one of the same because of the note. This is uh, Brad who is from California and he said that the back glass is shattered. Let's see, the back glass is shattered, which it is and Although my phone turns on, this is iPhone 10. although my iPhone turns on, there is no touch aspect, no longer feasible. Per my local Apple store, the phone is not recoverable. My data was not backed up to iCloud. And then he found his way here. So he was told that this phone, there was nothing that you could do for this phone. So let's see, maybe they're right, but we are gonna use these tweezers, Noble Superb, and show the style of master see if we can make something happen here with uh, Brad's phone. So let's take a look at it. Here's our stuff and it is doesn't have touch and it is pretty smashed up here on the back. So that seems like once again the classic presentation. So let's see uh, what's going on in the world while I take apart this phone and see if it's going to be another one where we just split apart the two boards, figure out what pads need repair, do the quick ball smash method and get this thing to boot with touch so that we can enter in the passcode and recover the data. Let's see. Uh, when Nick says, when I get an iPad rehab notification, he gets happy. Well, uh, Nick will be sad to know that I am drinking delicious LaCroix full of delicious aromatic compounds like I looked this up from the last stream like these uh, what was it limonene or something like that which is a citrus aromatic volatile compound from lemons or limes citrusy stuff and it is found in lots of stuff, one of which is uh, anything you want to smell kind of lemon lime. So cleaning products, things like that, including insecticides. Nothing wrong with that. Everybody likes the insecticide that they're using to have a crisp, delicious, pleasing lemon lime smell. I sure do, don't you? My kids won't eat it otherwise. Kids won't eat it otherwise, says Mark. Ha ha ha. Let's see. Uh, diet soda is terrible for you. Aspartame causes many health problems. You're better off drinking regular soda. Well, what I've learned so far, I'm doing a cleanse. All of iPad Rehab is doing the sugar-free September, and that, except for Mark, and except for Christy. Some of us are doing it while we're here. <laughs> Some of us are only, only pretending to do it, only while they're here. Uh, so we, what I've learned so far, 
after having given up a, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 cans a day Diet Coke habit, um, what I've learned about aspartame is that apparently it makes you really smart. Because, <laughs> because the, the just forgetfulness that I have experienced in the last few days is crazy. It's totally off the charts, you know, just constant. So we'll see. But Brad, don't worry, I got this. And if I don't, if anything bad happens, I'll just turf it up to Mark, because Mark is eating lots of delicious sugar and all sorts of bad for you carbs and things like that. All right, let's see. Why the hell do they put glass backs on phones? Seems crazy to me. I don't know. Ah, Mark, Mark from the back. <laughs> Come on up, Mark. Maybe you can make me not look like an idiot. No, I gotta get work done. Mark's got to get work done. Me too, Mark. That's what I'm doing, getting a lot of work done. Like exactly. <laughs> Mark, don't worry. I, it doesn't matter if I am kind of a little bit muted today or not, because no matter what, Mark, I'm going to have the style of master today. Huh? I'm going to show, yeah, you're right. I'm just going to, I'm going to show the style of master. So you watch. This entire stream will be shown in the style of master. All right, let's see. I couldn't hide my noble master tweezers. Then you're not, if, a true master would never, a, a true master would not lose his tweezers. I have my tweezers. Okay. But I would worry for a moment. Yes. So, so far I have learned that aspartame until further notice, is a wonder drug that makes you like able to stay up crazy hours. It makes you able to juggle uh, being a business owner and uh, being a mom of four. It's really awesome stuff. But I've given it up, and we will see what happens for the next couple of weeks. All right, challenge number one. Can I get this board out? And you can see that this board even as it sits in this housing that there's a bendiness right there at the sim tray just like in all of them this is the entire problem with this stuff that there is a hole here where the sim tray just came out and that creates this bendy spot and that's always going to be right where that impact really crunched this board and it's going to have damaged some pads how many hopefully hopefully one that'd be great wouldn't that be great if it was just just one. Let's go with that. This is just going to be a single pad damaged. Why? Because of the amazing power of aspartame. All right, we're going to just kind of tease this board to kind of come straight up out of this housing. It's a little bit tough because the housing is warped. So we're going to have to just sort of encourage it gently to come out nice and gentle. I hate to have to ask Mark to come help me take a board out of the frame. That'd be embarrassing. I'm sure that I have all the screws out. I know that. Well, this one is, you can feel like the looseness all the way through. We want to get it out without doing any other damage. There we go. Aha. All right. So now I'm really interested to I, like I want to kind of give Apple credit where credit is due. The entire problem with why these iPhone 10s fail, why I've done, I don't know, three or four exact identical streams that are on the same problem is because of this design, right? This is going to be flexion damage right at the bendy part of the device. So when it drops, it's going to cause stress right on this logic board, which is a double stacked Oreo, and it's going to cause stress right here along this gap. And let's look at that gap right under the microscope. But if you, if you knew that and you think, all right, this is a clever idea to solve the earlier problem with the long board that went down the entire length of the, the device, Apple said, let's just fold it in half. That way we'll get more room for battery and we'll have less flexion damage. Great. That's a great idea. It didn't work though, because you still get a lot of flexion damage. In the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, uh, they went, then let's do that. That is a good idea. 
It's right under where the ear speakers are always been, which is a water entry port. So, you know, if they had put it, you know, I don't know anywhere else, it'd be cool if they did it in the middle and kind of had a top battery and a bottom battery or something. I don't know. But that does seem like it might solve this flexion problem. So we'll see. All right, let's take a look and see if we can see kind of that bounciness flexion. All right, let's let's see. Um, boot ROM exploit apparently out for 4S to iPhone 10. Hmm. Uh, iPhone 10. Two iPhone 10, including iPhone 10. That sounds good. Sounds like great news for anybody that is needing data recovery from a disabled phone. All right, let's take a look under the microscope at Brad's board here and kind of see what's going on. We can see that sort of that there's the bendy spot right there where the edge of the SIM tray meets the board. And let's look around. Any water damage? Anything else jumping out at us? Oh, this one. Look at that. This one has separation. That's always really bad. Look at that. So we have, this is bad news, bad news, right? Look at that separation. That means that all along here, every single one of those pads is already pulled up. The good news is that this is largely ground, but it does kind of say, yeah, I bet you're going to have some touch issues all along here, kind of away from the area over here where touch usually is affected. I think we might not have a case where it's only one pad affected, but there's only one way to find out. We are going to put this board on the preheater and let's let this heat up. Oh, I just stabbed myself like a, like a, in the style of master. I stabbed my forearm in the style of master, not like a noob. That's for sure. All right, we're going to let this heat up to 200 degrees where it's super easy to just flip these boards apart and see what the deal is. Roy had a few customers that had their back glass removed by laser on the 10s max where the charge port fails. And after inspection, he sees solder balls on the bottom part of the port. Has anyone else seen this? Jessa, check another group after the stream. Uh, okay. Um, this is not going to stay in. I am pretty sure that giving up Diet Coke has made my head shrink. Mark, I found the cause of my dumbness. This microphone does not fit anymore. It's too big. My head has literally shrunk from not drinking Diet Coke. That makes sense. Aspartame grew my brain and now it's atrophying. Ah, Jessa, what do you think about the non-genuine Apple display message on the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro? I think it's great, honestly, and I know that that's going to be the unpopular opinion. But as a consumer and as a person who might buy an iPhone on Craigslist, I appreciate the information of, of like three U tools. I love that part of three U tools where it tells us sort of this device check. Oh, the front camera may not be original. The rear camera may not be original. The battery's been replaced. It doesn't mean that's not bad. That's just information. So I think that information is always good. Transparency is always good. It's the same, you know, some people may care about that and that is their right. You know, there are some people that are just, I only want to go to the dealership and that is okay. It's the it, notification and information by itself. Always a good thing in my opinion. Disabling function is bad, right? So as long as a message isn't disabling function, then it's just something that some people might find valuable. The rest of us are going to just kind of click away. It's just a, a minor nuisance, like a spam email. Uh, to me, it's the same thing as your HP printer saying, you know, it's not genuine ink in here. Uh, maybe, maybe somebody in the world actually cares about that. And if you're buying and selling used devices, I think maybe you will. So uh, the rest of us are smart enough to say, I know, I don't care that I put the, the ink in there from Sam's Club. Print, do your job. So as long as that printer will print and dis doesn't disable function, I don't have a problem with it. As long as the phone will use the screen, I don't have a problem with it. So that's where, that's my opinion. It's fantastic until they start to disable function. Then it becomes instantly uncool. All right. Jessa, do you sell the power supply and the octopus cable as a bundle on your store? Christy, what? we need to make a bundle. This is a great idea uh, from Travis. <laughs> 
he wants to bundle the power supply with the, uh, with the squid. Makes a lot of sense. Okay. Done. Just for you, Travis. Check on iPad Rehab Supply. Go to store.ipadrehab.com. Christy is going to put that bundle there right now because that is a really, really good idea. Jessa, what do you think of Lewis's search for a new location? Just curious. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. It's really, it's really tough. He's in a tough area. My advice to him, which he instantly dismissed, was to think about maybe a second location rather than change because he's got a lot of established foot traffic. Like, That's what I said too. You did? Oh my God, Mark, we're like so smart. <laughs> um, now, I haven't thought about it since I stopped dr drinking Diet Coke, so um, maybe my opinion will change, but I'm... Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down there. He doesn't know this in a couple of weeks, and maybe uh, look around in person or something like that. I think it's tough. I think it's a hard, hard, hard decision, and I wish him the best of luck. And I will help him um, with that decision as much as I can. It's been a long time to hear the name of Christy. Christy, I think you should come say hi. Just walk me. Here she comes. You're getting ready to see Christy. <gasps> it's a Christy sighting. Yay! It's Christy. Yay! There you go. Uh, okay, so let's check to see. This has come up to temperature. If we can split these boards pretty easily. And I think we can. Let's make sure that's under the camera. So let's see. Yep, that's a nice easy split. Ready to go. Super easy. Okay, now let's see what we got. Uh, first thing I notice is whether or not this is the Qualcomm or the Intel board, and it's the Qualcomm board. And I don't know that I have a Qualcomm board in my known good pile. I might have taken that for, it might be in the middle of a recovery over there, which is going to stink. What about a Sunday sighting? Sunday is doing the, oh my God, are you here? Oh, you gotta stick your head in. Like everybody wants to do sightings. Just walk by and just say hi. Yeah. She's here. She just walked in the door. Wow. Here comes Sunday. I feel like I'm look. Set up for something. Look. Look. What about a Sunday sighting? It's a trap. It's a hi, trap. Oh I'm my here. God! It's oh, Sunday. I, make sure I, <laughs> <laughs> I was hoarding up for iPad today. So. How are you doing? Um, oh man, that's a lot of. I don't think we're gonna get an easy one. Me, me, me. Um, how are you doing on the cleanse? I feel great. You do? I, do. I feel yeah. like an idiot. I brought you a muffin. What? Yeah, hold on. All right. Um, so let's see what we have. So this is the skinny side of the board where we had the, the obvious damage. And we can see pulled pads, boop, boop, boop. Good, good news. These are all ground, 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 ground. And ground, ground, ground. All right, then over here, the outer row is ground. The inner row, we don't really need for touch, but these are mostly the NFC section. And if you don't have the NFC section, then what will happen is the phone will boot up and it will accept touch, but it'll freeze on that last number and so it won't actually unlock the phone. So that is a drag. So we're gonna have to uh, drop some balls on those. And then around here, it seems okay, seems okay. Now here is the long area that primarily affects touch in the device. And in this one, it looks pretty good, which might mean that for touch, we just have a bottom board problem. So, so far, the only thing that we, that we actually definitely need to fix is probably these two, but I might even look those up. Maybe it is gonna be an easy one. It was only a bottom board problem, maybe. All right, let's continue looking this way, this way, this way, this way, all as well, and then this way, this way, this way. Now around here, th a couple of these guys are for, I forget, something like BB, PCIe. So there's a couple of these here, which I am pretty sure that I've done the experiment. If I was drinking, if I drank a Diet Coke right now, I could tell you for sure. Nope. <laughs> but um, without drinking a Diet Coke, I don't, I can't remember for sure. But I'm pretty, my guess is that I've left these off before and that I could get back touch. All right, so step one, I'm going to kind of clean up these pads a little bit. And honestly, I'm gonna see if we 
can get lucky because that would be really cool. Also, it would be kind of cool if we did have touch just to kind of see if that, if we could kind of show you that NFC effect. So I'm going to just go over these pads with a little bit of 138 paste and see what we get. All right. Excuses, excuses. Pass Jessa a Diet Coke. No, no, not no Diet Coke. No Diet Coke. All right. So we're just going to go over these guys. And you are talking really loud, Mark. That's right. All right. Uh, let's get this up here. All right. Now, I have not yet shown the style of master, but I will. I'm going to use that new tweezer. Also, you can find those new tweezers on store.ipadrehab.com over at iPad Rehab Supply Site. All right. Here we go. So you don't have to do this step. I just like to kind of go, go over them because I learned on that last one that if they're sort of loose, I'd rather that they come off than, and, sh and sort of declare right now, hey, I'm broken, rather than kind of be uh, broken at the neck where the pad doesn't really make good connection. All right. Why are you whispering, Mark? Because it was too Here loud. Here you go. Happy fifth day. That looks like grain. Uh, it's delicious and it has no grain. It is nothing but almond butter, one green tipped banana in the whole batch, and um, cinnamon and egg. And it's fucking delicious. What's it called? Uh, our spiced almond muffin. Is it from the recipe book? Yeah. I lost the recipe book. You have two of them. I lost them both. Yeah. Isn't that a shame? <laughs> like, that's what I mean about the, like, you know, like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I lost the whole thing that said what you can and can't have, so I kind of just go with nothing. I know that you can have LaCroix. Uh, well, yeah, I'm bringing it right now. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's the new Diet Coke. It's Diet Coke Nouveau. Let's just put LaCroix in Diet Coke cans, and then we'll be all set. Did, did Travis find power supply bundle? Travis, did you find your power supply bundle? Because Christy has hooked you up. The great and powerful Christy, queen of supply. So what was the takeaway? Was okay. All right. I think water repair is only data recovery. Yes, pretty much. Jessa, may I ask if you are cutting out caffeine completely? I'm trying not to because I'm a scientist, and I really, I really do just want to ask the question of what is the effect of aspartame? Because my whole life I've thought, yeah, 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 aspartame isn't, isn't you know, really proven to be bad. There's a lot of pseudoscience out there, but I haven't seen anything that kind of makes it bad. So it's always sort of been this, you know, hey, don't worry about aspartame. That's fine. Drink as much Diet Coke as you want. But now I'd like to try to keep the caffeine the same. But that's pretty hard because Christine's uh, like black tea is kind of gross. What? And then I put a splash of club soda in it to make it a little sparkling. Oh, that does sound pretty good. Really Hibiscus good. tea with lemon. I've, one of the problems, though, with my newfound stupidity is that I can't remember to order lemons. So, like, two or three times I've forgotten to order lemons. I told you my trick. Order a huge ass bag of lemons, slice and freeze. Yeah, I should do it. Okay. <laughs> I thought aspartame was good for you. Isn't it a protein or something? Um, no, you're thinking probably of asparagine or aspartic acid, both of which are amino acids, which is a building block of a protein, but aspartame itself is, not, is, is none of that. I think it's, isn't it a, a combination of phenylalanine and something else, which are two amino, both amino acids because the PKU kids can't have it. Again, if I was drinking Diet Coke, I would know for sure. But I'm not. I really do wish that I had taken the time to find a quality known good board for 
uh, for this one. Hand cam. Let's go to the hand cam. To the hand cam. All right, step one. This is, our, this is my paste, which I like to use dried out. Let's see. What happens if we try to make a jig? And let's see how this, let me check on this known good bottom board. Seems okay. I'm gonna actually go over the pads on this one. It's just a little bit oxidized and I'm trying to eliminate variables. All right, give me back my paste. So we'll just do another angle of going this over here. Coke with stevia. Stevia is not allowed on sugar-free September. No stevia. No nothing. No dairy. Nothing. No Enjoy. grains. No joy. No joy. No happiness. What's the argument against stevia? Stevia is a sweetener. All sweeteners are bad. I don't know. I It's the, the idea behind all these like cleanse things are to cut out everything. I should probably cut out solder fumes. Yeah. I'll do that on the next cleanse. What? So the idea is that you just kind of cut out anything that has ever been bad for any human ever. And then what you're left with is pretty much eggs and uh, bacon, pretty much. I did, I was, we were going on a camping trip and I thought about what could, what is like the vegan, because two of, two of these guys are vegan. What's the vegan friendly option? And there's nothing. No grains, no soy, like not much is left. All right, let's clean that up. Have you done a cleanse? Somebody was doing a, one of the juice cleanses. What did you learn? Did you go through a period of extreme profound stupidity? And how long did it last? That's what I want to know. And then what was it like? Did it just clear up? Do tell. Do tell. All right. Just cleaning this up so that we can get a good bond. Okay. All right, let's see. Jessa, thank you very much for making these videos, says Intel Xeon. I have recently fixed my first board in iPhone SE with a shorted cap on PP5 V7 LCM. Well, that is fantastic, and thanks for five euros. That is great news. Good job on that. All right, so we're gonna just make our little sandwich board here and probably waste up a bunch of time because of stupidity. Because the last one I did actually didn't have a problem. It, um, I had fixed it, but it came up with no touch anyway. Oh, look at that, here's the thing I was looking for. <gasps> it's my known good bottom board was sitting right here. Yay, I found my known good bottom board. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. If I was drinking Diet Coke, I would have known that that was, like I'm doing a stream saying, I don't know where this is. How many times have I done this? <laughs> Hundreds. You're and it, it is 18 inches and in, it is directly in front of my face. It is, it's, it was right, you can see it on the screen the entire time. By the way, the known good Qualcomm board has a green dot on it, so if you ever, see me struggling and can't find it and you there see you that on the screen <laughs> just like make a comment like something like have you tried looking in front of your face you know something <laughs> like that that would work pretty well huh I s i'm still gonna do it this way i'm committed now because now i want to know if this other one will work because i thought that this one was in the middle of a recovery but i was wrong it was not in the middle of a recovery it was right in front of my face All right, but I think I'm gonna use this screen. This is the one I was using most recently. 
and it was working earlier this morning, so I'm going to stick with that. The last one I did, it ended up having uh, no touch, but then when I soldered it back together with a different with a, a different screen, then it did have touch, which tells me that I had a connection problem. Not surprising. Honestly, not surprising. All right. He got it for free, the board that he fixed, and he gets to keep it. Well, that is great news. Fantastic. All right. Can you get those in the format OK, now let's grab, hmm, do any of these have a battery that's actually pretty good or no? All right, we're going to grab one of these iPhone 8 batteries that we've been using. Not that one. At least I can still have my wits about me enough to tell that that's not an iPhone 8 battery. All right, that is Brad's board. OK, let's see what happens on our first try. So this, we haven't done anything other than split the boards and clean them up. So we don't expect this to have touch. But if we're lucky, if we're lucky, maybe it will. So let's find out. So what this test is to just see whether or not the reason why Brad's board didn't have touch was because of a bottom board problem, which is always great. Because if the brake is on the bottom board, then all you need to do is take the top board off and boot it up, and all will be well. So let's find out. All right. Let's see. This battery, so what we've learned so far, is this battery is dead. Let's try a different battery. Not that one. <laughs> Let's try this battery. All right, will it boot up? And maybe it'll have touch. And then this will be a nice short stream for Brad. Let's see. Let's find out. Um, I'm currently working through all touch audio IP. This stream is not brought to you by Diet Coke. Ammeter says that it is charging as normal, so I think it's going to boot up. OK, here we go. Touch. I was too slow. I can't tell. Oh, it does have touch. Yes. Hooray. It was even easier than one ball. It was just the bottom board. Yay. Now this, I'll show you, I will show you one thing on this. This can, this can make people get screwed up a lot of times with these iPhone 10 jobs. When you boot a board on something that is not the, the native bottom board. So Brad's bottom board is bendy. You can see that. And so his problem is going to be between the top of the interposer and the actual digitizer connector. I'll show you what his problem is. His problem is going to be here. Let's see. You know, so this is Brad's bottom board. His problem is going to be between the digitizer connector itself and then the sort of this bendiness here that you can see. See how this kind of looks lifted up on the corner there on that interposer board? So he's going to have a crack under there. And that means that we can boot up him just, uh, just fine on a different bottom board. So right now he's booted on my pink dotted known good iPhone 10 Qualcomm board. But once we enter the passcode, it's going to recognize an NFC defect. So this one's either going to not accept that final, uh, final number on the passcode and we'll have to go fix the NFC section, um, or it will if all of those are intact. I couldn't quite tell. I don't have memorized exactly which ones are NFC and which ones aren't in that section. Let's find out. I am going to know, I'm, I am going to need to enter in his passcode, so I need to know what it is. All right, let's see. I'm going to enter in his passcode here. Which I can only remember three numbers of it at a time. That's Oh, I wish that you guys could see this, but it's so like dim. 
All right, and it is, as predicted, it's in this style of freezing on the last number. See that? See it has these, maybe you can see it better. See how I've entered in his passcode? Yeah, it won't let me delete it, delete it to show you. See how I've entered in his passcode? One, two, three, four, five, six numbers. And that six number, I entered the correct number, but it's just staying here. See, it still has that lock. It won't open. It won't unlock. This was, is, is maddening, right? This is the kind of problem that can be infinitely uh, troubleshooting. This is why I love the iPhone 10 because the iPhone 10 has such classic problems. They drop and pads come off. So, you, so you, if you look at enough of them, you can kind of figure out patterns. So the ones that are like this, the problem is going to be the NFC connection spots. So if you can't solve that, you're not going to be able to get data because it won't unlock and decrypt the data. There's nothing that you can do, which is really interesting. So if you go apply this back and you look back on other boards, if you, if you have any other device where you can't enter in that, it doesn't take freezes and hangs on that last passcode digit, go on a hunt for NFC related problems. It can happen to any of these NFC uh, boards, which is iPhone 6 and up. Okay, so this one is not solved. It is working for touch, but it's not working for NFC, so we still don't have a path to data. So let's go see if we can figure out how to fix that problem. All right, let's see what's going on. The last time I used a socket for my, for my 10S Max, I couldn't close the clamp at all. Uh, you've got a monkey with there's a insert that you have to take in or out they they work really well but you have to kind of you know there's no instructions you kind of have to beat on it a little bit all right so then let's see i even use it in cooking uh oh no more sugar talk it's sugar free no artificial sweetener no quote natural sweeteners none at all why because it changes your blood sugar dynamic, even the artificial ones, even beloved, beloved Diet Coke. All right, so now let's kind of take a look here at this corner, and maybe this really is a single pad problem one. Maybe it really is. All right, let's go on a hunt under the microscope. And let's kind of look at this in this NFC area. NFC area is over here. And it is these guys. So we are missing one, two, three, four, five. We're missing the six, seventh, eight, and nine. Six, seven, and nine counting up from the bottom. Six, seven, and nine. So let's see. I'm not sure if ZXW is even on here anymore, but let's find out. ZXW, can we see ZXW? Does that still work? Let's see, ZXW promoting that. Nope. All right, so ZXW, let me fire up ZXW. Oh, ZXW's been giving everybody a headache uh, for the last couple of days. If you are having trouble with your ZXW, you need to re-download and reinstall it. If you're still having trouble, then get a different download. Uh-oh, please restart. Oh no. Oh, hey, you can see it there for a second. Um, let's see, where is it? Let's see. I gotta go find my new ZXW. We were going to host this one if it still works because so many people are having trouble on the to-do list, hosting the currently working ZXW. All right, that looks like, hey, you can see it. That looks like that is going to maybe work. I don't know. Seems like it's taking a long time. Let's see. Will it work or not? All right, let's uh, take ZXW and demote it. ZXW. Is it going to work? Let's find out. 
Yay! All right, so let's go to ZXW iPhone 10. Qualcomm. Qualcomm. And we're going to look up what are those torn pads. We're looking for, are we actually missing an NFC-related one, which is kind of the, the hunch here on this one. All right, so where are we on this board? Oh, I'm lost. Oh, where is it? That's the wrong board. All right. Here it is. Okay. Can you guys see that? Let's see. Yes. All right. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And are we missing number six? I already forgot. One, two, three, four, five. We're missing number six. Number six is UART, which is a language like French, you know, for that uh, chips used to talk to each other. UART, AP, CPU, to NFC. TX, transmission. All right, that sounds like needs to be there or we have an NFC problem. We're missing number seven. UART NFC to AP, CTS, low. And then we're missing, let's see about the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now number nine. Eight is present, number nine, speaker amp. Screw you, speaker amp, we don't care. So, so far, as far as we can tell, like we have intact all of these NFC ones, except for number six and seven. So let's correct number six and seven and see if we can get into this phone. All right, so we're gonna close up ZXW and we are gonna use the fun, fun ball smash method to try and fix this thing. All right, let's see. Um, not when used in moderation, the body processes it, it differently. On what evidence? I have been going nuts with this whole cleanse stuff as a biomedical scientist. With like cleanse people tend to be a little bit uh, crazy, and the, <laughs> the, they keep saying things like, "Your body is purifying toxins." Oh, what you're going through, it's just your, it's the release of toxins. Really? Name one. What are you talking about? That's totally made up BS. So I got cranky today and I had to, I had to tell her like, hey, look, maybe it's just the toxins talking. Normally, it's kind of socially uncool to, you know, kind of, you know, call out and challenge things that seem to be widely accepted, like cleanses uh, cause you to flush out stored toxin but I think that's total BS so why don't you give me a hint on where is you know just name one of these toxins tell me what is the evidence I would like to know because if what you really mean is something like receptor down regulation I can totally get behind that but toxins hmm I don't think so. I don't think that a pathologist could, could tell apart a dead body that was on a cleanse from one that ate um, a ton of Diet Coke and cheeseburgers. I don't think you could tell. All right, let's tin those pads and let's see. All right, my A1C actually went down after I started using what, Stevia? My A1C went down after I started using it. I don't know what you're talking about. If you're talking about Stevia, great. Good job on getting your A1C to go down any kind of way. It's very hard. The best way to get A1C to go down is lose weight. So if you are diabetic, then get serious. Go on a cleanse. Cleanses at least are super, they teach you, they t definitely teach you a lot about uh, consumption, super fun. Smashing some balls, yes. I'm watching Dr. Berg on YouTube, he's into keto and has lots of videos and explains in great detail. Well, this isn't keto, like that's, what, that's the other thing. Like, no, it's the cleanse. You know what helps with the cleanse? What? Um, Touch, you, I see. You want lots of amethyst. Amethyst. Yeah, you wanna just cover your, Cover yourself in amethyst crystals. Um, now, do they emit an essential oil? <laughs> I think they do. They okay, good. Oh, okay, it's like a natural diffuser, yes. Yeah. 
All right, we gotta get those suckers to stick on there. Mark, what kind of essential oils do you prefer in your home? Um, well, I put drops of tea tree oil in my eyes anytime that I want them to, I don't want to feel excruciating pain. <laughs> I, I I used some eye drops. It wasn't quite essential oils. It was a uh, it was a toxin actually I put into my body in order to dilate my pupils so that my uh, my ophthalmologist could see my retina and make sure you know. So we did that the other day. It's not quite the same. Time to smash those balls. Let's smash these balls. I just had a local guy send me a message asking if I can fix touch on an iPhone 10. Yes, That's you can. Good. Right. If he gets Watch here before YouTube. 2 o'clock. Yeah. If he Watch gets YouTube. here in nine minutes. <coughs> no, this is a Jacksonville local. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. I just now realized that 2 o'clock is meaningless. I am... Sp wait. No, it's not. That is when I'm supposed to leave. Oh, yeah. You I'm supposed to pick minutes. up the girls at 3. Minutes. Yeah, I see that now. That's 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 uh, that means I should probably finish up. Yeah, now that you're smashing balls, you're getting near the end. I am. All right. So if this doesn't work, Mark's going to take over. Uh, Mark's going over. All right. So now we have a diode mode reading on those, on those little dudes. So therefore, we might actually have a shot of getting up out of here and not being late today. Let's find out. All right. Uh, yeah, Arvid says, I have a liver for my detoxification. That is exactly right. And your liver probably does a damn good job. All right. It's just one of those buzz phrases that people just accept. Oh, you're releasing toxins. Really? All right. Let's smash that down. Let's get a screen. And let's see if we can type in that last number on the passcode or not let's find out let's find out if it's if if it if it this does work i'm going to rename this stream even people on a cleanse can can uh recover data for my phone tens yeah really trying hard not to say that because I'm on my stream, but it's really hard <laughs> given my, s given my disability. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, what are you supposed to say? Have decreased, mental decreased mental capacity. Yes, I have yeah. decreased mental capacity. But don't worry, Brad, we got you. We got you, bro. It's gonna work out great. See, I, your phone still boots, so there's that. All right, let's see. Is it going to work? All right. Let's see. Is it going to boot up? Bring Kenny Rogers back. Kenny Rogers. I don't remember that. <laughs> Let's see. Will it have touch? Okay. All right. What is his passcode? All right. So I'm going to click over just to, you know, for no reason. Not, nobody's going to come steal Brad's phone and somehow get benefit from knowing what his passcode is. But let's see. Doot, doot, doot. Doot, doot. All right, now I'm going to enter the last digit. Let's see what happens. It looks like it still freezes. Damn it. <laughs> Which means that we need to go back, and it's exactly like the last one I did. Which means we need to go back and diode mode those other pads. Because if six and eight. Were pull, or six and seven were pulled off in that row, and so was nine, then th this is going to be an NFC problem that one of the other NFC pads is not making good connection, which really stinks. Either that or this bottom board could have an N NFC problem. In fact, I think I probably will swap 
to see if the other bottom board doesn't have an NFC problem. Um, mm. But first, let's do, let's do what's fast. Let's diode mode, because I need to get out of here at, in five minutes. So we gotta fix this in five minutes, or else I don't know what. All right, let's go diode mode around in the NFC section and find out what the deal is. All right. Now the other sort of like fast way when you're having a when you've got something going on like this is that, you know, something else over here which is all kind of CPU communication to baseband, you know, I don't I feel like none of those are guys are going to be required, but I don't really know for sure. So the fast thing would be to just throw balls on them really quickly. And then later do experiments to figure it out, which we might have to go with. All right, let's check for a diode mode and no, we're, we're just looking, do we have any open lines in this section? So far, no open lines. Um, well, it's he has the phone. Oh, if it's an older one, it didn't get thrown off. All right, that one's open. That one's open, but those are probably up in speaker amp and not part of NFC. So probably doesn't matter. So let's see what's going on over here. Which ones of these are missing? One, two, three. I think what I'm going to do, since there's just not very many of them, is throw a ball on those guys. These ones I've never tested, these two guys. And I'm pretty sure they're CPU. Let's check. ZXW, let's just check on them. Let's see. Here we go. Mm, PCIe AP to BB ref clock. So I don't know whether or not NFC could use some of that because NFC is part of like RF baseband. AP to baseband time. Yeah, these GNSS ones I think I've left off before. All right, so what we're going to do, we're definitely, these we could make a case those might be why it won't accept the last ones we're in a time crunch i am going to throw balls on any of these ones that i can see right now that are not ground just so that we can see if we can get it solved because otherwise i don't think i can ask mark to take over because he's kind of super busy so let's just go into speed mode and get this sucker done all right Politically incorrect. What is going on up there? Let's see. I'm talking about regulations for honey. What can and can't be called honey? We get honey from Shannon, who makes it from bees, which is really fantastic. I think it's pretty easy to find somebody local that makes honey and go with that. Okay. Luckily, none of these are like extraordinarily difficult with like huge pulled pads. Oh, I know why this didn't work. I forgot to show the style of master. I was just doing it in the regular style. I didn't use the right tweezers. Let's see what happens. Here we go. There we go. Now it's going to work. Show the style of master. Mark, I know why it didn't work. Didn't you show the style of master? I forgot to show the style of master. I just did it in a regular style. Oh. So, no wonder, right? Yeah. All right, there's no way we'll be able to get all these balls on here at once. But why not try? Why not? Why not give it a try? Let's see. How many of these balls can we get? to suck down in their spots on the first try. Now these two balls I dealt with the other day, they're mighty hard to smash. Needs more flux. Look at that, we got a lot of them on all at once. That actually 
Got them all but one. That's pretty good. Well, they're not on there. Spoke too soon. And I need one more. Blocks. Okay, now smash. All right. One comment about honey would start it to be. Well, I missed it. I'll have to scroll back and read it later. Maybe in a few, few days after I go back to drinking Diet Coke. I wonder how long, see how hard it is to smash these? I think last time I had to, to use the side smash. That's really tough. What's the right tool? to smash these balls. Is it this? It might be. Let's see. Let's put both of those together. That could be a good ball smashing tool. It's hard to smash those balls. Eh, that will probably make contact. Okay, let's look around. Everything looks like it'll make contact in the jig. Let's go back to the jig and let's try this one more time. And if it doesn't work, then once again, we will have to do a part two. And that's just the way it is, folks. Because even if something isn't repairable in the first session, you never want to cancel a camping trip just to get Brad's phone to work. Brad, if this doesn't work, then we'll have to circle back to you. But don't worry. We'll get it. We will not give up. We will keep trying until Brad's data is recovered. Because that's what we do. All right. Now let's see what happens. Let's see what happens now. Let's see if we make it less bright if the ambient light sensor doesn't kind of kick on and make the scrim go, screen go super dim or not. All right, let's see. Is the chat hiding text with the word balls in it? Mm, I don't know. All right, hold my beer number two. Yes, we'll have to start doing that. Hold my beer and hold my beer number two. All right. She loves to smash balls. Okay. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to click away so I can do the first bit of his passcode, mostly because that just wigs people out on stream. And let's see. Doot, doot, doot. Doot, doot. All right. Last digit of his passcode. Will that work? Doot. Unlock you mofo. And it's still stuck on, it's still stuck on, I'm not accepting that last digit of the passcode. Screw you, pal. All right, last thing I will try is to just swap to my other, my uh, known good bottom board that I regularly use instead of this pink one. The pink one, I think, I don't, I don't know why I quit using it. Probably because I lost it because I put it like to my left instead of right in front of me one day and then never knew where it was. All right, let's see. All right. These ones are hard to, to test for. Like for regular touch, you can always um, if you put together the sandwich, you can just measure diode mode in the connector to see if you actually got connection in the jig itself. But on this one, we can't really do that because we're going from like the CPU to NFC 
and there's no good place to measure that in a jig, in a jig situation. No good way to measure that when you're getting jiggy with it. All right, let's just see if there is anything different when we try to boot it in this other bottom board, or is it gonna be the same? Or is it not gonna work at all? Let's find out. All right, silly of YouTube to hide a legit message. Oh, YouTube does a lot of crazy things. YouTube will hide all kinds of stuff. Like every now and then, maybe once a six months or something, I'll go check out like, <coughs> you know, comments for review, which it just kind of deletes after a while. And stuff that it decides to filter is sometimes crazy. All right. This stream doesn't lie. You can enter the passcode, it just will not accept it. That is true. Oh yeah, so that's gonna keep this title as the same. That's funny. I made a new title for this. Yeah, look at that. No touch at all on my other board. And this is what happened with, the, with yesterday when I um, when I had touch working, and it was very finicky on this board. The green board may have to be retired. You know what I am going to do? I think I'm going to try the green board. I'm going to rule out the variable of this jig. And then I got to go. I got to go. Let me see, green board, are you getting beat up? Are you getting gritty? Are you getting oxidized? All right. All right, let's see with the green board in this other eye socket. Are you going to go to Darien Lake next weekend? Adrian was talking about doing that. I don't. I just don't want to go camping again. Well, come on out to uh, Jellystone. Well, my site's not next to anybody. I don't I'll bring some bikes. <laughs> I have to go in the only place that will fit my big ass camper. I mean, it's already like death defying enough to try to park that thing. Yeah. All right, let's see what's going to happen. Bed source compression. What is going on in chat? Dr. Sinister said, maybe it's the eye socket and not the green board. Maybe you're right. Let's rule that out right now. That's a good idea. That board should have a red sticker. No, that board's going to be fine. No, oh, it's so hard when, the, when you can't see. Oh, it's got slight touch. All right, let's see. All right, here comes his passcode again. Doot, 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 doot. doot. All right, on this known good, same state. It is freezing on that last passcode digit, which is an eight, in case you can't see it. All right, see that? It's stuck. Freezing on a passcode digit. That is going to be an NFC problem, and it is almost certainly going to be a problem at the the row of these guys here like it always is and i uh, it's gonna be really tight for getting where i need to be zxw zxw so our problem is definitely gonna be nfc in my experience and it's going to be one of these guys it's gonna be this one one, two, three. Anybody in this row has traditionally caused this problem. So it's got to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Let's just glance at them on Brad's board and see if we notice anything. You tell me, maybe you'll notice something. Maybe my eyes today are just not that reliable. Let's find out. Let's look under the microscope together. And this time we're gonna use the tweezers that show the style of master so that we can finally see what might be the problem over here. Let's see. These should all be ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ground, ground. Uh, it's possible that we didn't get a good connection with my smash ball. Yeah, those look like they might have just only, they might not be smashed enough. They might have got balled up a little bit when I put heat over there. Let's smash our balls a little bit more. Let's smash those balls, really just grind them down, really flatten them. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now they're all like super flat. Now let's diode mode to make sure that we actually have a reading and not open line on that row. 400, 700, 400, 400, 400, 400, 400. That's got to work. It's got to solve it. It must. It must be. This is going to be it. And if not, then I need to come back when, after I can drink some Diet Coke and regain my superpower. Then <laughs> we'll put it aside for three weeks. Sorry, Brad. It might be a three-week delay. Reason, uh, Diet Coke. All right, let's find out. And lesson, clean your eye socket every now and then. Eye sockets need to be cleaned more often than never. Yes, that's what I'm going to use Diet Coke for. You know what? That's a really good idea, all the extra Diet Coke. I'm going to dip the eye socket in Diet Coke and watch the natural acid just rinse away and let the aspartame just get rid of all of the oxidation and get rid of all of the grittiness from the thermal paste. All of that is just going to go away. All right, now this was probably going to work because I did use the style of master. All right, let's find out. Was this just a simple Failure of the eye socket pins to really touch and make connection electrically to bring that connection from the bottom board to the top. Let's find out. And then yes or no, that is it for this stream. We're going to see. That's a good ball smashing. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. If any of you want to drink some Diet Coke and come over and assist, then we can use all hands on deck. That's right. <laughs> Fixing things for you cleans uh cleans their eye socket with saline that's a, always a good idea all right now let's see okay you do i feel mentally stupid like really bad everything i've ever known is all you know what when it's course week everybody is going to be required to drink a ton of diet coke because apparently that's the the great secret in border care all right last digit Unlock you mofo. Rant, fail. Fail. The Apple Store was right. Sorry, Brad, there's no way to get your data. Fail. All right. At this point, we're going to conclude that we have solved any NFC problem that there would be from the pads. I'm really confident, aren't you? Those look fantastic, and we're sure that they're making good connections. So now that brings us back to where was the majority damage in this phone? The problem is with water damage, the problem is where the water goes. With electrical damage, the problem is where the charger goes. And with bend drop damage, the problem is where the bend drop was. And in this device, the bend drop mostly affected, ripped up really bad out on the end and it ripped up all those pads. 
So the next thing that we would do with this case is to go on a hunt to see if we have destruction at a chip that must be required for this NFC communication that we think from experience is what the problem is, why the device cannot accept that last digit of the passcode. And so we're going to go look for that kind of stuff. That would be our next step on this one. And with that, I'm out of time, and it is time to go camping. Wish me luck. We're not taking any Diet Coke. I may or may not survive. If so, I'll see you back here, and I'll let you know what happened at the end of the case of Brad's phone, No Touch, where Apple said that it could not be repaired. And what we've learned today is that Apple did not lie to Brad. Apple's right. So far, this phone cannot be recovered. We'll see if that remains true. See you next time. God damn it. All right, I just lied to you. I just finished saying that this, I just finished saying that the case of Brad's phone where I really do need to walk out the door uh, didn't work. That was not true. Apple did lie to Brad. Get ready to get a second opinion because this phone, as I just just kind of had a chat, it had to, it sat there hanging on that last digit for enough time to kind of give that sort of, you know, finish up speech. And then when I looked down on it, it had taken the passcode. What? So that one required this little bit of extra time, I guess, because we fixed that NFC problem and it had to kind of click in and realize that. But now it is clicked over to the next screen. So this is now this is now in the solved category. See, it's doing the thing that it does next, which is doing the automatic attempting data recovery. So it's going to it will always chug through that. This is clearing the mismatch between the, the donor bottom board and the native top board. It's going to clear through that. It's going to clear through the next screen, which which is exactly the same, except it doesn't say attempting data recovery. And it is going to work. So this one is going to work. Let me see if, hey, Mark. I know they have been working on their. I need to leave. Um, this, this, like, stream that I kind of did for a long time, it actually ended up working. Of course it did. But it needs to chug through, you know, it needs to chug through this. Uh-huh. So iPhone 10 will do this when it's m married to a new NFC on a new bottom board. Okay. So it goes through that, which takes like yeah. a f you know, five minutes or so. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it will blink, it will come up Apple logo, and then it will s do the same thing without that. And then it's his passcode in this jig, mm -hmm. and then bring up full brightness, and then um, you know, go recover ahead and recover it. Okay. Yep. yep. So I'm going to leave this here and what I'm actually going to do, I think I'm going to just leave this, I'm going to leave this live because <laughs> oh. that way when you come back over here, you can just kind of sit down and say, um, but then you're going to see that I forget about it until like five o'clock. That's okay. <laughs> because I will then forget that I saw that <laughs> by the next time that I see you. Cause that won't be for a few days. Yeah, so that's just gonna, this is going to chug because I would like this stream to be complete because I think it, I'm not sure if it already split it into two videos or not. Don't believe you. Mm, these <laughs> guys will, chat will, but there, there's a lot of like the, no, you're not, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I just kind of think it would be fun because in, in theory, I could let her later edit to be, you know, a clear thing. Mm -hmm. I've never caught one before that was an NFC one. So that's kind of new information for everybody. And I think that's pretty cool. This was just NFC not right. working. So let that finish. Put in the passcode when it's done. Yeah. So this is the guy's passcode. Here's your, here's your microphone. Whoops. Well, there's going to be a lot of dead air. So I'm not going to sit here. In no, you're not going to sit here. Definitely not. Right now. Oh, snow. Maybe I could stand to do it. I don't know. Let's see. How long is it going to take?
want to see what YouTube does, especially this new live dashboard stuff. Go to live control. This is a good one. This is a good time to figure out what live stuff does. New stream from previous. What? No. New stream. Create a title. Okay. iPhone 10 NFC problem causes Failure to accept last digit of passcode. Create stream. Connect streaming software to start preview. Connect streaming software. Is that a new stream? I can say live to. This is like the this is a new new streaming thing which I think has its own key. If I had a Diet Coke, I could tell you for sure. <laughs> um, Are you still streaming right now? Probably. So I think that this <laughs> this is yeah. this like streams on um, the other thing. It's 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 chillaxing. Okay. You just let it. It's just going to marinate. Like, okay, and I'll then just it. pour like a Diet Coke on it. I kind of feel like it's like an audio IC of the NFC. You didn't eat your muffin. I need to know what's in it. Looks like it could be made of Diet Coke. Looks uh, like, it looks like probably just raw. It looks like a trick. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's totally fine then. So, Wait, no, we can't have oats. Oats is a grain. There are no grains. Oh, well, it's grains it's is off limits. Uh, couscous. Couscous is also a grain. Um, wait a minute. Couscous sure. is a grain. Yes. Which one's the pasta that looks just like it then? Orzo? No. No, no, no. The Israeli pasta. Like Quinoa? It. No, that's the grain. Couscous is the pasta. Which is a grain. Like, no. isn't it? Like, I mean, I yeah, guess like they made a flour, right? Flour, yeah. <laughs> All the, wait, <laughs> this isn't a grain anymore because I pulverized it and squeezed it. <laughs> now it's called pasta. Now it's just something entirely different and super healthy, just like essential oils. Exactly. All right, so now it's it's the doing this. It's like kind of you know what this is, Mark. This is wrong passcode. Crap, you wrong. I put in the wrong passcode. Huh? No, it's like the it's the swipe up to recover. Oh, it gets all the way through it, and then it's like, no, nope, yep. you have to do it again. Yeah. Because the passcode's wrong, but yeah. I'm not going to tell you. Right. So this this is now, uh, we need to go get a new passcode. All right. Yep. Not, not, not interesting. <laughs> all right. We're going to be done.